What do angels look like? Typically, when we think of angels, we imagine human-looking figures with two giant wings on their backs, or else just human-looking figures with shining hair. But is that really what angels look like? I mean, did we develop this image of these celestial beings based on what the Bible actually says, or are we really just using our imagination? 1 Corinthians 15.40 tells us that there are two different kind of bodies. First, terrestrial bodies, like the bodies that we have now. And then there are celestial or heavenly bodies. So what do these celestial bodies look like? Well, scripture tells us that there are at least a few different kinds of angels. Two of them are actually described in detail for us in the books of Isaiah and Ezekiel. Ezekiel tells us about a type of being known as a cherub. In chapter 1, he writes describing a group of four living creatures. These creatures have similarities to humans. They even have human hands. But they definitely did not look like the Hollywood version of angels that we're so familiar with. Each of these creatures had four faces. One looked like a man, another like a lion, a third looked like an ox, and the fourth looked like an eagle. They also had four wings each, and their feet looked something like hooves. Ezekiel also tells us that they were glowing, like coals or a burning lamp or candle, and even their feet sparkled like brass. Later in chapter 10, we're told that these creatures were called cherubim. You may remember that though cherubim are not often described in such detail in scripture, they are found all throughout the Old Testament. In Genesis, when Adam and Eve were cast out of the Garden of Eden, it was cherubim that were set there to guard the Tree of Life. When the Ark of the Covenant was built in the wilderness, there were cherubim sculpted on the mercy seat or the lid of the Ark. And Ezekiel tells us in chapter 28 of one most notable cherub, the anointed cherub who covered the glory of God. This cherub was lifted up with pride and was cast out of heaven. Yes, Lucifer, the devil himself, was one of these cherubim. So no, Satan does not have a pointy tail and two horns. Then there are seraphim that we read about in Isaiah chapter 6. The seraphim all have six wings, but they only use two of them for flying. The others are used only to cover their faces and their feet. These seraphim are found flying around the throne of God, crying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. That's really all we know about the seraphim from Isaiah 6. But we see what seems to be the same creatures described in Revelation chapter 4. Here we read of four beasts flying around the throne of God, crying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. In Revelation we find that each of the four beasts looked distinctly different from each other. One looked like a man, another beast like a lion, another like an ox, and the fourth beast like an eagle. They also had six wings each, and they had many, many eyes. So it seems that these beings in Revelation are the same as seraphim, because they have the same number of wings, and they have the same job around the throne of God. But they're definitely different from cherubim, who have only four wings, and while the seraphim have four different kinds of faces, each seraphim only has one face. The cherubim, on the other hand, have four different faces on one cherub. Then there is apparently a third class of these celestial beings that are referred to as angels. The word angel literally means messenger. Though this word is also used for all of the celestial beings, it seems that the cherubim and seraphim do not perform this role of messenger, at least not that we can tell. 
Now it's possible that cherubim or seraphim could be sent as messengers by God, but we really don't have any reason to think that. Cherubim seem to be mainly warriors or guardians. It's possible that Michael, the archangel, was also a cherubim because he is mentioned defending Israel and warring against the devil. They seem to be set for the protection of men. They guarded men from going and eating of the tree of life. And they covered the mercy seat with their wings. It was from the mercy seat that any impure person would be destroyed. Then seraphim seem to be charged not with carrying messages, but with the praise of God around his throne. Now, because these messenger angels are the ones that mostly interact with humans in scripture, it seems that God designed them to look very human. In Luke, we read of an angel named Gabriel, who came to announce the coming of John the Baptist and of Jesus Christ. This is the same angel who came to the prophet Daniel in chapter 9. His appearance is never described in detail, but I would say that he probably appeared somewhat human. Now, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, when angels appear, they do seem to always have to beg humans not to be afraid of them, which makes sense if they are cherubim with four faces and four wings, or seraphim with six wings and a bunch of eyes. But in Hebrews 13.2, we are given this admonition, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. This kind of leads me to think that there are at least some celestial beings that look very human, with no wings at all. Remember the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. When the angels came to visit Lot, the men of the city thought they were human men. They certainly didn't have four faces or wings coming out of their backs. So it seems that there are at least three different kinds of angelic creatures. The cherubim with four faces, four wings, hooves, and a fiery glowing appearance, including Lucifer and possibly Michael the Archangel as well. Then there's the seraphim with six wings, different kinds of faces, and lots of eyes who fly around the throne of God crying, holy, holy, holy. And finally, there seems to be a third class of angels who are tasked with the job of messenger. And I think they must be very human in appearance. What do you think? Do you think messenger angels have wings? Or would they just look like a human? If they do look human, how did Mary and Zachariah know instinctively that they were angels? Maybe they were glowing? And what about the idea that these angels could change shapes? What if they can appear with wings or without wings? If you have a theory about what angels look like, let me know in the comments and don't forget to tell me why you think that from scripture. One last question. Do you think that you've seen an angel? I know a lot of people who honestly believe that they've met an angel who was sent to protect them from some harm. Tell me your angel stories in the comments below. But don't forget, angels aren't the focus of scripture. Angels were created for a purpose, just like you and me, to bring glory to God. Now, before I go, I want to sincerely thank you for watching this video. If you like this content, don't forget to hit subscribe to support the channel and to see more content like this. And follow The Bible Explained on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Bible Explained. I really do appreciate your support. Also, I want to remind you all that the entire Bible is ultimately about one thing. The redemption of mankind by Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible teaches that all men are sinners and that no sinner can have eternal life with God in heaven because we must pay for our sins for eternity in hell. That's definitely bad news, but the Bible is all about this one thing, the good news that Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sin on the cross. Since your sin has been paid for by Christ, all that is left for you to do is to accept that gift by faith. If you've never accepted the gift of God by faith, won't you do that today? Leave a comment or send me a message. 
and I'll be happy to talk to you more about having your sins forgiven by Jesus Christ. 